Hello guys, Tivik here and welcome back to Agrarian Skies. We are on episode 4 and take a look at this. I'm on the second level and I do have the haste enchant. I got this message, you begin to feel comfortable handling the mattock. Well, it's an axe. You notice room for improvement, plus one modifier, and do you spin around with a flourish, plus one haste. So I actually got a modifier as well, interesting. What modifiers can we put on this one? Uh... Not sure, but I do have one modifier remaining. I'm going to repair it. <clears throat> there we go. And... Don't suppose I can do that? No. Yeah, so I've been sifting and sifting and I still don't have enough. I just wanted to show you that. So I suppose it's back for me to... Oh, I hate when that happens. Um, I did make this though, um, so why don't I, real quick, yep, uh, do this, break this, <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry, my throat is a bit itchy, probably coming down with something, I'm gonna make three, come on, this is why I don't like this kind of farm. Um, once we have everything we need, uh, I will make sure to uh, make uh, one of these um, Igneous Extruders. That's the name I'm looking for. I'm gonna need a bit of everything for that, but for now, let's uh, improve this one. By plopping dust in these to get more of that. And... These don't give any extra anything. I've tested it with a hammer and it doesn't give anything, so probably fortune might work, but don't know. So, oh, hate it when that happens. Let's uh, put the clay one in there and uh, two sticks. <clears throat> My bad. Now, this is gonna be a bit tricky. I'm gonna need two buckets. And since one is gonna go poof when I do this, for reasons that I will show you, I might as well make an extra. I've made some more of that, so I now have another clay bucket of lava. And this one will be of water. <clears throat> no, not there. There. The thing is, I keep hitting this clay here, and I don't want to risk this, so I'm going to place down, like so. Now I have obsidian on that side, which means I cannot, under any circumstances, break it, which will save me some time when I'm standing here, uh, so I don't need to worry about actually breaking that, which would be a bad thing. Anyhow, let's uh, just make a few more here, and uh, yeah, I've Poor. Oh, I had it there. Because the first thing I should shoot for now is that igneous extruder. And it's not terribly complex to make. I can get everything for it now. It's just gonna take a bit of time. Let's, uh... Oh. Break it with the wooden hammer. I cannot craft a better hammer yet. Well, actually, I can with stone. I probably want to do that as soon as this hammer breaks. But at least until that is broken, I will use this. We'll sift this. And this I will automate later once we get a lot of diamonds. We need... Um, to, to automate this, slowly, we need a total of two diamonds and two emeralds. Get them from sifting uh, gravel ores. Oh, gravel, so that's something you can get. But... To make it extra fast, you need a total of six. Did I get one more of that now? Yes. Excellent. I can turn in the quest. Hooray! Um, oh, I need to make that first. So, I think I'm going to put the pick the second one. Oh, I need ore sand. Yeah, this is the tutorial. It teaches you everything. Now... I got ore gravel. 
I break it and I get crushed iron ore. I might sometimes get extras there. So, ore sand and then ore dust. When you break it, you might get five, which I did there. So I have a bit of extra. Excellent. Now we have ore dust and I can turn in the quest. Please tell me that's a uh, basic... Well, I got the creepy doll and the angry doll. I will need those um, for future stuff, but it's not really necessary for me to get these now. Oh, well. I shouldn't complain. It's good stuff. Um, let's just keep that. Oh, look. A melon. Woohoo! This is five melon. That's excellent. I'm going to smelt this up. Because a cutting board is just one iron, and I can make a meal out of that, so let's smit this. I need to prioritize what I make. We're definitely making that. Might not be the first thing you might want. I also need a mixing bowl. I can make that with stick and some uh, some wood. Let's see. Like that, stick, wood, and that. I have a cutting board. Then with three wood and a stick, get a mixing bowl. Now look at this. I can make fruit salad. Hooray! Fruit salad is considered a light meal, which is uh, good because it is a bit more filling. And it's a lot cheaper than the bread because this grows so much at a time. And I probably not want to use the hammer for that, but okay. We need to focus on getting a lot more food. Because this is going to be an issue and I do want to have an ample supply. Hmm. So that's going to be the next goal. And as you can see, I haven't expanded this platform out there yet. But the trees are growing and that's good. What did I just get? Oh, it's apple. It's just a strange angle there. I will also need to start working on making a platform of dirt somewhere. It's gonna have to be a bit away as well from my base. Uh, I need to work on the smelting as well. This is easy. I can make as much I want uh, at any time. But for fishing, why don't we go fish for a second here? This one took me a bit of time figuring out, but turns out that this might actually be a smart idea to close this off, yes. But I'm going to place the source block of water down here because we don't want this to dry up. There we go. Um, does this mean that there are any dark areas in this? No. Right, so as I saying, fishing. It's easy if you stand in the water and throw straight up. Whoop. Then you wait. Then you wait. This is fishing for you. It takes forever. And hopefully I will get fish. Hopefully. Come on. Bobber. Bob. Bobber da bob. Hmm. Come on. Nope, that's what not that was definitely not it. Because you can't throw it like this. It's not deep enough. Alright. Also, this area up here I'll probably make into Hey, I got a fish. Which means I can manually submit and claim a reward. We'll get that one. What was that? It was a basic one. And we got... Oh, look at this. Jackpot. Jackpot. I got... 16 saplings of each type of the Pam's Harvest Craft stuff. Oh my god, this is so good. Uh, we'll have so much food now. Food is not a problem. We got avocado... Pomegranate, 
however you pronounce that. Bananas, mango, pears, and peppercorn, lime, and nutmeg. Excellent. I'm almost jumping out of happiness here, and you have no idea how lucky that is. I need to make a dedicated kitchen. Definitely, because we will have so much food now. Food is no longer going to be an issue. So, all I can do is make a lot of that and start working on the platform. So, why don't I do that and be back with you in a moment. I can't quite believe how lucky I was with this. <laughs> That's very cool. Um, I think I'm going to go for... Avocado. Um, this one. Um, because... No, that's fairly high up. Mango can be used in... It's not Magno. Mango. Come on. Mango. How difficult can be? Um, it's used to make mango juice. Yeah, definitely want to make a mango, and I'm gonna go with banana for now. These are all sweet trees. Uh, I'll go for the nutmeg later, I think, but these two are the ones I can do right now. So, let's uh, get a half a stack of bone meal. I really need to make a, a mob farm soon, but I do want to make these first because these are cool. I have separated these out a little bit so that they're a bit further from each other and from other trees. I don't know how big they grow. Okay, are we ready? Whoa, that's a big tree. And that's that one. Excellent. So, we have bananas and mango. Um, let me set up a sign on each one of these. They're not to be taken down at all, because, well, you know, let's uh, do this. This is food. This is a lot of food. So let's say banana, mango, and I can expand out. Uh, this whole tree made me believe I was right. Yes. Um, they do spread out a bit. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven fruits on this one. And looks like four on this one. And you can make them grow. Let's see how they look when they're fully grown. So that's how they look when fully grown. And you get one banana. And uh, this can be made. Oh, banana split. Nice. Banana smoothie with a snowball. If I can figure out how to make snow. Um. And banana nut bread. So I need walnut, butternut. Yeah, walnut or butternut. I don't have any of these. And I need cocoa. No, I need some sort of milk and some flour. Not going to do that for a while. Or dictionary. Well, that's a lot. Um, but the fruit salad is what makes it quick. How does this one look when fully grown? Okay, so that's good. Let's get... Two of each. Now, I'm curious about something here. Um, these harvest craft stuff. These and these. Can I place them down? Cutting board. What happens with this? Yep. So, the cutting board I can place down. So I can just put the mixing bowl in here, and uh, that's fruit salad, and uh, same for that, I'm not going to use those. Mango, fruit salad, and I can leave the mixing bowl in there. No, I can't. So I need something to keep them in. Um, I'll make a chest. You have chests already, I know, but... There. Now, this chest, I can keep, not that one, but that bowl. It's not linking up nicely like this one, so I don't know. In fact, I'm gonna do this. If I can just craft a crafting table, crafting station, low crafting station. Place it there. 
it's gonna be hooked up to this chest and I can put all the crafting components in this chest. Uh, there will be a couple of tools, so this will be that. I won't... Um, I'm not sure how I'll place the resources. We'll be getting a lot of it and I'll build a dedicated kitchen once I get that. But for now, let me spend some more time with the pick and uh, this here area because we're gonna need a lot of stone. Also need to clear out my inventory, so back in a moment. And it seems like I am again running out of time here. Um, this pick is almost broken, so I'm gonna take that away because there is something that I want to do. I want to set it up fairly soon as well. Um, I'll show you that in a moment here. I need about um, 18 plus a couple more, about 7, 8. Eight. So I need 20... 26. Math. Difficult. Because these are picks from Tinker's Construct. And picks from Tinker's Construct can be upgraded. Okay. How? Well, if I were to make an area here, I'll put it here, yeah? And I'll put it like this. One, two, three there. One, two, three. I'm actually being a bit dumb here, but that's fine. And do like this. Now, if I craft myself... Yeah, I know I'm over time on this episode as well, so... I'm gonna be quick about this. And we can place a barrel. An oak barrel. And I think this is gonna work. Water in it. Then... That should be all I need to make mostly cobblestone. Yeah, it should be. Um, just... Because I want to be able to see this, I'll put some stairs there and there. No, not there. We'll check on this. I'm pretty sure this works, but you never know, so we're going to leave it at that. If it works, I'll be using this to... I'll do that. Has can't be too bright up here, uh, or it won't work, I think. Um, but basically, the water in that barrel will seep out and spread and make this mossy. And nine moss makes a moss block. And, well, a moss ball. One of these. So, moss stone times eight makes one of these. And that makes these tools auto repair. I won't need to level this one up, which would be great. I At least I think... I think I have a repair, oh, not repair, a uh, slot on this one. I might not have it. Yeah, one modifier, so I will put that on and that will be the one I use for stone here. But, for now, I'll be crafting, eating yummy fruit salad. And digging more cobblestone. Um, in the next episode, we'll take a look at the next target. Which is, well, the cobble generator, really, the real cobble generator. I don't know if this is the one, but the igneous extruder is the next goal. I need glass, tin, some servos, some pistons, so we need a lot of things. All which I can get, so I will work on that, and I'll see you in the next episode. Hope you enjoyed this one. See you next time. Bye-bye.